hello everyone welcome back to the next video in this video i will show you how to get uh, how to use the manage external storage permission to get access to all files in flutter android so let's get started so this is android specific video now if you don't know there have been recent changes in android where uh, if you want the read write external storage permission uh, you can't request it for newer android devices for uh, newer android devices actually you don't require any permission for writing a file and if you have created that file in external storage you can read that as well but sometimes if you are making some kind of an application like a video player i want access to all the video files for that uh, even files which have been created by other apps right so for that we need access to manage external storage permission now use this carefully because if you use this permission you will while uploading uh, your app to google play console you have to give reasons why, on why you are using this permission and if google does not find your reasons valid they might even uh, reject your app so here i have one button called open video picker without permission like this button has been badly named uh, you can name it whatever you feel like if i click on it it will open the settings app because i am using newer android version like it is above android r uh, for older android version you will get the read write external storage permission but given that i am using android r uh, here you can see i am uh, redirected to the settings app also it scrolls uh, to our uh, uh, app so here you can see at the very bottom my app is flood app permission and so if your app is located starts from a letter called z then it will automatically scroll to that particular app at the uh, automatically scroll in the settings app uh, so that the user can easily find your app and then the user will have to give this permission manually once the user gives this permission i'll just show you the logs i'll click on the back button and i'll just filter out by flutter here you can see uh, result as true because i gave that permission now if i uh, now i can access all the uh, files which are present all kinds of file not just video audio all sorts of files yeah, and here if i click on again i get the true permission true as the result because that's what i'm sending back once the permission has been granted uh, so yeah and given that i'm running it from android studio that's why i'm showing you the logs in android studio but you can use the flutter run command as well uh, to test it out and you will get your uh, logs inside your terminal so here i have created one flutter project and here you can see inside lib i have created this main dot dot file and all i have done is that i have just refactored uh, this my home page widget i have created a stateful widget inside that i have created a method channel called permission platform and uh, inside the build method i have just created scaffold safe area column and inside that i have just text button now on click of that text button we are invoking a method called get manage external storage and from that we will get this particular uh, result which will be in form of boolean now be careful i am sending the uh, returning the uh, value in form of boolean if you are sending the result in form of some other thing you will have to change the data type and yeah okay now we will have to use the same name of permission platform and get manage external storage permission on native android side as well so just open the android folder inside android studio you will first have to go to this android manifest and here you can see i have added this manage external storage permission as well as read write external storage permission as well then you will have to go to main activity and here uh, i'll just remove this dead import uh, these are all the imports which i am using and here you can see i am using flutter fragment activity also uh, we'll have to go to gradle scripts settings.gradle make sure you update the kotlin version to 1.9.20 uh, and inside build.gradle inside dependencies you will have to add this particular bit of code okay once you add this just click on sync now and it will download all the dependencies for you uh, then again come back to main activity and here you will have to extend flutter fragment activity here i have created this method channel result then here is our required permission of read write external storage for older android device for new and 
once uh, for older android device once the multiple permission has been granted i am sending back true to flutter side otherwise i just display a toast message here you can also send back false in case the message in case the permissions have not been granted uh, so yeah up to you and this is for this uh, manage external storage permission for which we have to use start activity for result and once we have this particular permission then only we uh, send it back as true otherwise here again i'm displaying a toast message if you want here you can send it as false as well then here we are requesting the manage external storage permission so here you can see i'm checking whether we are above from android r or above then only we can use this particular permission now there are two permissions which are very similar naming so one is action manage app all file access permission and there is another thing called action manage all file access permission so don't use this use this uh, and once you use this you will also need to uh, send the package name because that will automatically scroll uh, your app uh, on the settings page and here you can just display the toast message and in case if you are below android r then we just ask for read write external storage permission so this is a helper method which i have created just to check whether we have the read write external storage permission or not and here we are using configure flutter engine so we are overriding this method here we have created this method channel and once we get this hold of this particular method if we are above android r then only uh, we um, use this particular method and if you already have the permission send it back otherwise request for manage external storage if you are below android r then just request for uh, required permissions and in case if the user use some other string we just say result not implemented so yeah that's it thank you for watching bye